life's a dream and the dream is helps you to get out there and live the life uh, without the life there is no dream Uh, always creative. I remember even from uh, very young having colouring in books and pens and enjoyed drawing and painting and stuff like that. Um, my first year of school, um, teacher asked us to do some drawing for, uh, for class and my first drawing I think that I'd taken home was, well the teacher asked us to do a, a picture of our fathers the only time I saw my father was when he'd come home from work late at night and he was usually getting out of a bath or something like that. So I drew a big circle for the head, a stick body, a stick arm, two stick legs and a little tiny stick in the middle. So, but I, I was always finding, I liked doing it, uh, different types of art, but I didn't find something that absolutely caught me until I'd seen uh, someone using spray can uh, it just it, it hit me I went bang I was like yes this is what I would like to do um, I have muscular dystrophy which is a, uh, a muscle uh, either muscle wasting or mes muscle uh, benign or, or uh, non-growth. This, this form of muscular dystrophy or this uh, uh, it showed, shows up after puberty so when everyone else like uh, most young men is coming into puberty they're developing muscles and you know chest muscles arm uh, so I was out there trying to do exercises and uh, uh, weightlifting and all sorts of things trying to to build up muscle bulk but it wasn't happening for me but I had to come to a point in time where I had to accept myself or, or love who I am for myself uh, and if other people couldn't accept me or, or the way I look, then it's their problem, not my problem. Yeah, so it basically this helped me become more understanding of people who do have problems and, and uh, be more understanding of people. It does um, affect me in some way, like uh, especially when it uh, drags on my shoulders, like uh, leaning over and forwards. If I do that a lot, then it can cause uh, you know, uh, stress and trauma in the in the shoulder and the and in the scapula area, the muscles, the, the neck. Um, but I don't let people know about that. I don't sort of like harp on it. It's not something that I really want to, uh, I don't want people to feel sorry or pity for me. Um, so yeah, I don't really talk about that side much. I want people to appreciate the body of work for what it is, not because of a handicap that I have. Uh, I, I didn't like looking at p other people's artwork because uh, I used to feel hurt or, or a pain inside myself that they, that they should be looking at, they should check out my artwork. Um, I think I've gotten over that now because I've got, my artwork has got to a stage where people do go, ooh, ah, wow, over. 
Um, so now I can look at other people's artwork uh, and appreciate their artwork uh, without, I suppose, feeling jealous. <laughs> The developing of the different techniques that I have, I don't know of anyone else that has those because there were things that I was doing at the time and then I thought, oh, how can I do this or how can I achieve this? And they came about over time. There are quite a few things that I've developed that uh, I've never seen anyone else do before. I personally, with my, with my art, is I like uh, it so that people look at it and they can see movement a, uh, that it's not just static or still it doesn't look like a photo or it's just been stuck there uh, I like artwork that looks like it's about to move on you step out slap you in the face and you stand back going wow cool I like that let's do it again I enjoy being out in front of people I uh, I find there's an energy about that situation as well. Their, their energy and, and who they are, they are, if they're standing around, becomes a part of what I'm doing. Uh, if you're in a studio, you don't get that. And sometimes the artwork can end up being more cold and calculated. Sometimes uh, if I see certain things around or people uh, might look like they're involved in certain things, then I might... Uh, paint catering towards that uh, uh, towards what they might be liking um, and other times I might just lay the paint down and see where it takes me I think what I'm looking for in the in, in painting is seeing what I can and can't express with it. I enjoy being able to bring caricature out like or, or, or portraiture, the, an expression of a person uh, captured in that moment. It may not look exactly like them, it won't be photographic, but it'll have a, an expression of the person. I suppose that's what I'm doing is I'm, I'm capturing an expression of things, whether it be people, uh, whether it be um, space, whether it be uh, creation. I am the God of what I do and God is the God of what He does. And I suppose it's all about creation. It's all about creation.